Okay, so here's another one of those horrific ones that takes ages to complete, but in the end it's causing you a lot of points in the exam because it's not really that difficult. Okay, let's see. Simplifying without the use of a calculator, and here they give us a bunch of ratios, each with angles inside, and our first step, as always, is to change everything into positive, acute, and simple. Okay, so to do that, sine of negative 45 degrees is in the fourth quadrant, where cos is positive, okay, which means sine there is negative sine of 45 degrees okay sine of negative 120 negative 100 oh, sorry my cost diagram is wrong that should be a t negative 120 is in this quadrant okay it's 40 short no it's 60 degrees short of 180 okay a negative 180 so this becomes uh, since in the third quadrant sine is negative this becomes negative sine of 60 degrees Okay, sine of 300, negative 320, negative is all the way past negative 270 um, into the fourth quadrant, sorry, the first quadrant, where everything is positive, so sine would be positive, and it's just short another 40 degrees of 360. So this becomes sine positive because the first quadrant, everything is positive, sine of 40 degrees. Okay, that one's not a special angle, so I hope that gives you already an indication, a little bit, of what's about to follow. Okay, let's see. Cos of negative 150, negative 150 is also third quadrant. Okay, it's 30 degrees shy of negative 180. <coughs> so the angle we're making with the x-axis is, is 30 degrees. Cos is negative in the third quadrant, so this becomes negative cos of 30 degrees. Because of 315, 315 is larger than 270, fourth quadrant, okay, it is 45 degrees shy of um, 360, so the angle we're making with the x-axis is 45 degrees, so this becomes cos of 45 degrees positive, because cos in the, first quad in the fourth quadrant is positive. Okay, sine of 240 degrees. Sine of 240 degrees, which quadrant is that? Okay, 240 is in the second, third quadrant. 180 plus another, what, 60. Okay, so we have 60 more than 180, which means that this becomes a sine of 60 degrees, but in the third quadrant, sine is negative. Okay, finally, cos, well, not finally, we have a cos of 290. 290, which quadrant is that? Well, it is more than 270, so it is in the fourth quadrant, where cos is positive, so that's fine. And it's 20 more than 270. You could, you could make it 270 plus, or you can make it um, 360 minus 70. Okay, so 360 degrees minus 70 degrees gives me the 290, and that means that this is cos of 70 degrees. Positive, because cos is positive in that quadrant. However, cos of 160 is in the second quadrant. Okay, it's 20 shy of 180, and cos is negative in that quadrant, so negative cos of 20. Okay, so let's see, what can we cancel? Uh, anything, cancel anything, sine of 60, well, let's first do the signs. We have uh, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So this whole thing will have a negative sign. Okay, then let's see, what can we cancel? We can cancel sine of 60 and sine of 60. Uh, sine of 45 and cos of 45 is also the same. They'll cancel, but let's not do that here. Um, and that seems to be about it that we can cancel at this point okay so now all I notice that here we have some non-special angles okay cos of 70 and cos of 20 however however we see we have a sine of 40 which would work if I had a sine of 20 and cos of 20 because we want sine of theta cos of theta that will be equal to sine of 2 theta if we can get a 2 in front here. Okay, so I want these two angles to be the same. I want this to be sine of 20. And cos of 70 is sine of 20. Why? Because 
cos of 70. 70 can be written as 90 degrees minus 20 degrees, which means we're making an angle with our uh, y-axis, and that means cos would change into sine. So uh, why don't we just replace our values here? Sine of 45, we've already done the, the sines. Sine of 45 is square root 2 over 2. Okay, sine of 40, no such luck. It's not a special angle. Okay, cos of 30 degrees is square root um, 3 over 2. Cos of 45 degrees is square root 2 over 2. And that's where we see this. These two can cancel. And then we have that this changes to sine of 20 sine of 20 and then we'll have cos of 20 cos of 20 so sine of 20 cos of 20 sine of 20 degrees cos of 20 degrees and we would just love it to have a 2 in front so let's just do that let's multiply a 2 in front here as long as we multiply a 2 in the numerator as well that's fine okay so that now what we have in the numerator, our one factor cancelled, so we have negative 2 sine of 40 degrees. In the denominator, we have the square root of 3 over 2. Multiplied 2 sine 20, cos 20 would be sine 2 of sine 2 times 20. So that's also sine of 40 degrees. Which is great because that's exactly what we wanted in order to cancel there. And now we have um, in the numerator we have negative two over one times with the so we tip and times the denominator two over square root three, which means we have four divided by the square root of three. Let's just multiply to rationalize our denominator, and that gives us four square root threes over three. And that's it. However, I shouldn't forget my negatives. I did forget my negatives. So just remember it's a negative value. There we go.